today we're going to look real quick at slope intercept form okay it's a special way to write an equation so that you can see right away what the slope is and what the y-intercept is alright so let's just skip on down to here if we want to know what the slope is we need to find two points and take the difference in y over the difference in x, rise over run. And it looks like that the two points I can see would be 0, 1 here x is 0, y would be 1, and then over here I can see 10, 2 so the slope is going to be 2 minus 1 over 10 minus 0. Which is 2 tenths, which is 1 fifth. And you can see that it's a very not steep hill. It doesn't climb very fast. It's not steep at all. And so when you have that, that's your slope. And we said the y-intercept was 0, 1. And so if I want to put it into slope-intercept form, m is going to be the slope of the line, and 0, b, which is the y-intercept, b is going to be the y-intercept. So if I want to write the equation for it in slope intercept form. I'll say y equals one fifth for my slope x plus the y intercept which is zero one so one. One fifth x plus one. Y equals one fifth x plus one. Slope y intercept that is slope intercept form. It's not exactly the hardest thing to get. I think Probably a difficulty would be if you have it looking in a different way and you have to rearrange it so that it looks like this exact way. Because if it doesn't look like this, it's not in slope intercept form. So if it was y minus 1 equals 1 fifth x, that's not slope intercept form. Slope intercept form has to look a very specific way. And it's this way right here. This is the same basic equation. If you add one to both sides, it would bring it over to the right side, and you'd be left with one fifth x plus one. So it's the same equation; it's just written differently. This is the only way that is considered slope-intercept form. Y equals mx plus b. If it doesn't look like that, it's not slope-intercept form. It can still be the equation for a line, though. Slope-intercept form isn't the only way to write, a, write it, as we've seen, but that's what we're focusing on today. So if I want to see this, y equals mx plus b, and it tells me to identify the slope, m is negative 2. It's that easy. The constant in front of the variable, when it's written like this, is the slope. This over here is your y-intercept. And so the y-intercept is going to be 9. Okay, slope is equal to negative 2. That's this part. Y-intercept is equal to 9. That's this part. You need to create a table of values for this. Well, you just plug in different numbers for x. If x is negative 2, then that's negative 2 times negative 2, which is 4, 4 plus 9, 13. 0 times x, 0 plus 9, 9. That's where you get the y-intercept from, when x is 0 minus 9. 2 times negative 2 is negative 4, plus 9 is 5. 4 times negative 2 is negative 8, plus 9, 1. 5 times negative 2 is negative 10, plus 9 is negative 1. Okay. As x increases, y decreases. So if you're going towards the right, it's going down. So 
this would be a decreasing component. And we can plot those points, negative 2, 13 would be right up there. 0, 9 would be right here. 2, 5, 2, 5 here. 4, 1 here. 5, negative 1. You can see that's a line, it makes a linear equation, and it's going downwards. Okay, let's look at here, number 10, what's the slope? Right there. What's the y-intercept? Right there, negative 10. See, the minus sign means negative. It's the same as adding a negative. Minus is the same as adding a name, so negative 10 is your line intercept. Write the equation in slope intercept form of the line that is represented by the data of the table. Well, let's find the slope first. Let's subtract our y's over our x's. Remember, slope is rise over run. Change in y over change in x. Well, 9 minus 7 is 2. That's our change in y over negative 2 minus negative 1 is, well, that's negative 2 plus 1, that's negative 1. 2 over negative 1 is negative 2. Our slope is negative 2. That's why in, as x increases, y is going to decrease. And our y-intercept is when x is 0. It's already on chart 4. It's x is 0, y is 5. So our y-intercept, we're just going to abbreviate enter equals 5. So if I want to write that into an equation in slope-intercept form, it's going to be y equals negative 2 x plus 5. That's basically all there is to slope-intercept form. You need it to look a certain way. You have your slope and you have your y-intercept. If you can find those two things, you can write any one into slope-intercept form. And if you need to find your y-intercept, you just need to replace your x with 0. Because that's the definition of y-intercept, when x is 0. If you put a 0 here, negative time 2 times 0 is 0, y equals 5. That was the our y-intercept. If you need to find your slope, you need two points. You find rise over run, change in y over change in x. Let's say we just have a picture and we want to find that. Well, let's find our slope first. It's negative. It's going down. I can tell that. I'm looking at it. Let's see. This point, 1, 4, to this point, 2, 2. So let's subtract our y's. 4 minus 2 over our x's, 1 minus 2. So that's going to be 2 over negative 1. Uh, my slope is going to be negative 2, just like I suspected it would be negative. Where does it cross the y-axis? 0, 6, the y-intercept. 6. Let's look at number 19, just to show you. What are the slope, m, and y-intercept of the line described by this equation? Now, this is not in slope-intercept form, so let's turn it that way. I want to move the 3x to the other side. So 6y equals 12 minus 3x. Because when you move it to the other side, you have to do the opposite. Subtract 3x from both sides. Now I need the y by itself to make it look exactly like slope-intercept form, so I divide everything by 6. Divide this by 6 and divide this side by 6. 12 divided by 6 is 2. Negative 3 divided by 6 is, well, negative 1 half. There it is, slope-intercept form. It's not the prettiest thing. We could rewrite it so that the negative 1 half is in front. Negative one half x plus two. If that helps you 
see it even better, then that's what you need to do. And so what's the slope? The slope is negative one half because it's in front of the variable x. What's the y-intercept? Two because it's what's hanging off the end plus two. So y-intercept b is going to be equal to two. And there we go, slope and y-intercept. I just had to rearrange it so that it looked like our slope-intercept form. But you can't, all the information is there. You need to practice rearranging equations. That's something you need to go look online how to solve equations. But that's basically all there is a slope intercept form. It has to look a certain way, and then all the information you need is right there.